Gold prices continue to find more bullish favor, uh, obviously in wider ranges that we've seen in a long time. And even as, as we see volume start to narrow and get a little bit thinner ahead of key central bank meetings, we continue to uptick. So right now, not only on those bigger volume days, bigger wider range days are we seeing uh, higher settles. We're also seeing higher settles on the lower volume days as well as higher lows. So all this is gearing up for a technical move higher. Uh, certainly that 1450 level remains kind of a target We've touched it, we've traded through it, but we haven't seen a significant settle above it. Likewise, I think a lot of this central bankathons that we're going to see with the ECB and the Fed coming in and being more dovish, not necessarily uh, going to be anything that gold's going to fly away from. I think at this point, gold prices will do what they're supposed to do, and that's trade higher on easier policy. But look out, if the Fed comes in and acts a little less dovish, than expected, you could see gold knee jerk lower. 1400 is going to remain my level to watch. If we get below 1400, it's going to be significant only if we settle there. But likewise, we've seen, haven't seen a trade there in several weeks. And I think at this point right now, the dollar weakness in the dollar, along with the strength that we're seeing in equities, means that you're going to see some insurance plays. And gold has been one that has, as of late, been quite popular. Obviously, the bond market has been the other place we've seen a lot of flight to quality bids, but that seems to have been slowing. So right now, as long as we stay above 1400 in the gold, I think that's going to continue to propel us higher with those higher lows and higher highs. For more Business First AM, check us out on social media. We're on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. And go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.